Now, that was Ijmalan that we mentioned how the Jal will be killed, that he'll be killed Babi Lud, the gate of Lud. There is a little bit more explanation in other books of Hadith. That was Sunan Ibn Majah from one of the six books of Hadith. Now, if we want more detail, we look in some other books. So in Kitab al it is mentioned, or uh, it is mentioned, and we've studied the start of this hadith before, that Isa alayhi salam will find that the disbelievers will try to escape and they'll have reached Lud, this gate of Lud, and they will find that Isa alayhi salam is already there. Now, when they see the, uh, Isa alayhi salam, they will say to him, Aqim is salah, establish the prayer, establish the prayer. And Yaqulu al-Dajjal, Ya Nabi Allah, Qad uqimat is salah. So the Jal will say to Isa alayhi salam, O Prophet of Allah, the iqamat for the prayer has been given. The prayer is established. Now you come, come lead the prayer, start your prayer. So Isa alayhi salam will say that uqimat lak, fataqaddam fasalli. No, no, I'm not going to lead. It has been established for you. So you advance forward, you lead the prayer. So the Jal will advance forward to lead the prayer. So then Isa alayhi salam will say to him, Ya Adu Allah, Zamta annaka rabbul alameen, falima tusalli. That, O oh, enemy of Allah, you claimed to be the Lord of all universes. And the Lord of all universes is the one who everybody worships. No, he does not worship anybody else. So falima tusalli, so who are you praying namaz for? So he will be exposed at that time. The Jal for this, he will have claimed to be a god and he will have many different supernatural abilities to which will, you know, help deceive the layman in believing that he is Allah and today he is stood in salah and he's going to go worship somebody else. Isa alayhi salam will say, who are you going to read? And that is when Isa alayhi salam will hit him with a whip that he had and he will kill him. And they will not remain from his help as anybody that will be behind anything except that he will say, Ya Mu'min, Hada Dajjali Faqtulhu. Oh believer, this is Dajjali, this is a person from the tribe of Dajjal, from the helpers of Dajjal, from the group of Dajjal, so come and kill them. Now, in Lawami al Anwar, it's mentioned. That there is a possibility this prayer that the Jal will tell Isa alayhi salam to lead. It is only because he will have seen Isa alayhi salam is there and he will be trying to escape from Isa alayhi salam. And he will have no other method except to invent. The first possibility is that he will invent this prayer. He will just make it up. He will see that, oh, master, that the Muslims, they are always reading their prayer. Maybe if I tell them it is namaz time and they start reading, at that time I will quickly escape. So he will invent a prayer. This is one of the possible opinions. The second opinion is not that it was actually a namaz time at the time. And this is supported by a narration, Sahih which mentions that when Isa descends, and he'll be leading the Muslims in prayer and he will raise his head from Ruku and he will say Sami Allah Hudman Hamida Allah Hudjal it will be at this time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will kill the Jal upon the hands of Isa alayhi salam wa adhar al and he will make the believers victorious. And the meaning of this is that Isa alayhi salam will be in prayer. Now this is very important that even when you are in the battleground you are not allowed to miss your salah. You cannot miss salah. Even when you are in the battleground and you are fighting the enemy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed the believer that you establish the salah. Yes, maybe not the normal prayer that you have created and another method for you. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us about Salatul Qawf. When you are in the battlefield, this is how you do Salah. One will be guarding, and one group will be reading, and how they will exchange and swap over, etc., and the difference between the Imams. But there is Salatul Qawf. So Isa alayhi salam, he will say in the battlefield, and he will be reading the prayer. He will have raised his head from Ruku, and it will be at that time when 
facilitate the jam and it allow because maybe go to necessary movements while sort of reading the battlefield it's allowed in normal namaz you can't make any movements but in the battle it is permissible so according to the narration of Ibn Hibban, this is the how Isa salam will kill the jar and like I said gate of Lud Babi Lud may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to visit Palestine may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to study all the Islamic history there may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to read two rakats there whilst it's in the hands of the Muslims Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen